Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and in this video and the next couple of videos I want to have a look at the topic of automation. So what is automation and why is it so important to us? Well, back in the day when everything was recorded onto big reels of tape, when a mix was performed it was a performance. They would set the tape going with the multi-track and then any adjustments that had to be made to volume EQ settings, effect settings, had to be made in real time and you needed the right number of hands available to you to adjust the controls as you went along and played through the song. With mixing in the box as we do with our DAWs, that's not possible. We don't often render in real time and even so you'd be jumping around all over the place trying to access the right controls and making just the right adjustment at just the right moment. What we have to help us is automation and each DAW does things slightly differently so if you're not a Cubase user you'll have to go and find where your automation controls are in your DAW but the principles are the same across all of them and fundamentally you have access to everything and you can preset how it's going to behave through a mix. Now we talk about the first mix as being a static mix that is you've got everything EQ'd, compressed, all the balance is right, any special effects put on and that's it. You could start at the beginning and play all the way through the song and nothing changes and if that's the mix you've got then that's the mix you've got. If that's what you want, that's great. However, there are going to be times when you'll want to just tweak a vocal, ride a vocal level, alter an effect setting, alter a volume setting, and that's what automation is there to do for you. You can preset those levels once you've got your static mix, and you can make those adjustments so that when you render your song, the DAW will automatically make those adjustments for you. It's automatic adjustment, it's automation. So, where is it? Well, in any channel in Cubase and in most other DAWs, there's an R and a W. Read and write. Nothing if not simple. And what this does is it enables you to tell the DAW that you are going to have automation and you want it to read the automation and you want it to incorporate that automation when it renders. You don't want the thing to be recording every single adjustment you make to your controls so just as we have a record setting for each individual track so we have a write setting for each individual track as well. And as you see, when you engage write in Cubase, it automatically engages read, and you can turn them on and off. In Cubase, we also have global buttons here that will automatically turn write and read on for all tracks simultaneously. So, if you want to have a look at what parameters are available to you on any particular track, the way to do it in Cubase is to go to the track concerned, and you'll find the show hide automation button there. And when you click down it will always show you volume by default and any other channels that you've got active. You can keep clicking this and it will append further automation tracks as you go. If you click on here where it says mute you can actually bring up a list of all the available parameters. And in fact if you click here on the more you'll see that we have available to us as parameters for this particular track volume, mute and the panner. We have the input filter and all the characteristics gain, the low pass and high pass frequencies. We have the standard panner left and right. We have the channel strip, any parts of the channel strip that have been activated the parameters for those will be available so we've got the EQ, the tube compressor and tube saturation activated on the channel strip for these strings and we can then go in and we could add a track for any one of those. And you also have the sends. 
So having decided what our automation lanes are going to be, we can have a look at what it looks like. Well, as you could see, when I clicked on there, you saw these two lines going straight across. That represents the volume. The volume for the strings is constant throughout the song. We only have two string parts here. And the mute is off. There is no muting taking place for that string part. When it's playing, it's playing. Now, if we have a look down here, we can see that we've actually got some automation on this track because we've got the R buttons activated for the bass and drums. So we'll have a look first at the bass guitar. And if we have a look here, we'll see that we have insert four boost activated. Now we'll have a look at the inserts and there on insert four is the loud bass plugin. So we'll just bring that up. And as you can see, there's the boost value is automated to go up and back down again. So we'll have a look what that looks like in practice. Keep an eye on this boost dial here as I let the song play. Right up in my bones. Look, no hands. I should mention that the song that we're listening to is already there by Graham Cochran from the Recording Revolution. So you can use automation to alter values. So if you want to turn up, you want a bit more boost, you want a bit more volume, automation is where you go. But you can use it in more creative ways. And I just want to have a look at one application of that uh, before I finish this video. That's uh, so if we have a look at what's happening with the drums here. As you can see, what we've got enabled here is the mute, because I wanted the drums to come in on the beat rather than any pre-sound from the beat that was recorded. So I wanted the whole drum kit to be silent up to that point and then come in. The other thing I wanted to do was at this point here in the song, there's a break and it just drops down to a guitar vocal before the whole band comes back in. Now I'm going to play you the break without the automation on the drums. As you can see when I turn it off, the automation lane goes quiet, it get, gets greyed out if you like, although it's all a fairly sh grey shade. Here we go. I'm wandering, I'm stumbling around, can't find my Okay, so it's a nice big drum fill, but it's not very big. So what I did on this channel was I set up a send to a big reverb. That's what it's called, big reverb, and that's what it is. So if I put that back to there, and I now activate the read on that, you'll see the send to the big reverb come active at the point when it's on, and then it'll go off, when the drums start playing. I'm wandering, I'm stumbling around, can't find my way home. Yes, I know I am already there. So just for those few seconds, the drums are sent into a huge reverb to give you that cavernous very 80s sounding drum fill and then it's back to the more modern dry sound for the actual run out chorus itself. And I do the same thing again at the end of the song where I wanted a big whoosh at the end of the song to finish off. But if we actually go down to the big reverb itself you'll see that in between here and here there's actually a volume change. Now this is fairly arbitrary because the reverb is only used at that point and that point at any point in between the two I could reset the level and I reset the level while well, nothing was happening so that at the end of the song you got all of the drums going to the reverb but the reverb itself 
was turned down. So if I just pull that up and play that section of the song and show you the channel setting, you'll see the channel fader move all by itself. Yes, so there's been a significant drop in the amount of the output from the reverb and then when we get back to here if we go back to our drums and we go back to the send you'll see the send is still on full and it's the actual send on and off that's being toggled not the amount of the send So I just send it for that brief instant just so that you get that last drum hit having that big reverb around it and then it's all muted. So I hope that's given you a bit of an introduction to the concept of automation and shown you a couple of things that you can do with it. In the next video I want to look at how you can actually record automation without having to worry about all of this. Until then you take care of yourselves.